نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقطة من لساني يفقه قولي My dear brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Inshallah today I will be talking about a topic which is first of all very relevant to me and I am sure many others out there this topic will be very relevant to them as well Many of you will already know that Alhamdulillah I am a student of the Darsi Nizami course uh, I am studying in Darul Ulum Gothia Razwiya under the supervision of my Ustad Mawlana Nizam Din Nisbahi I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him even more barakah in his knowledge and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserves him Ameen So inshallah I will be talking about the virtues and the importance of seeking knowledge. As Muslims, as believers, each and every one of us has um, has a duty to seek knowledge. And the Prophet there are numerous hadith to um, support this. So if you are doing an alim course, if you are doing a hafiz course, if you are becoming hafiz or hafiza, if you are doing any, any sort of um, if you are seeking any sort of knowledge for the religion, there'll be hard times where you, you need motivation, you need motivation to carry on. And inshallah today, I'll be talking about two main hadith, which will inshallah um, act as motivation for every single person out there who, um, who is on the journey to seeking knowledge, whether that be learning the Quran, whether that be uh, doing an alim course or whether that be just generally ne- learning the knowledge of the deen. <coughs> so we first got to remind ourselves why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down messengers and the holy books. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the messengers with holy books which he revealed upon them alayhi salam so that فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ So that we know that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, he sent them down so that we may be we may we may become people of true knowledge and understanding. Numerous hadith support this. Wa an Muawiyata radiallahu ta'ala an huqal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Hazrat Muawiyah radiallahu ta'ala an hustes and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said May yuridillahu bihi khayran yufaqihu biddeen that whoever for whom Allah wills good, yes, there are there are many doors in life. There's the doors to success, there's the doors to wealth, there's uh, doors to every every aspect of life there are doors. Now imagine, yes, the for whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for whom he wills good, yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, the most kind, those that that deity who's uh, who has con- complete control over our lives. If anything, he knows what's good for us above anyone else. Bishak. So for whom Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wills good, uh, the Hadith says that for whom Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wishes good, for one of his banda, for one of his slaves, he opens for them the doors of knowledge and understanding. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills good for one of his slaves, he opens the doors of knowledge and understanding in his life so that he may become successful. He will open a door of deep understanding and knowledge of the religion, of the deen, an understanding which roots in the hearts of the true believers, a true understanding which will guide him on the clear and straight path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another hadith states, in light of the virtue and the benefits and the honor of seeking knowledge. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, وَمَنْ صَلَقَ طَرِيكًا يَلْتَمِسُ فِيهِ إِلْمًا سَحَّ سَحَّ أَلَى اللَّهُ لَهُ بِهِ طَرِيكًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم That whoever sets out on a path to seek knowledge, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will ease for him the path to paradise, subhanallah. 
So we learn from this that so going out to seek knowledge, not only will it uh, improve your uh, worldly matters, not only will it increase yourself in knowledge, but also in honor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the path to Jannah easy for you, subhanAllah. So for all those people who are currently st uh, studying the Quran Sharif, who are currently studying the Dursi Nizami course, this is the virtue and this is the blessing and this is the reward for seeking out knowledge. We struggle at the moment, but inshallah there is a bigger reward beyond our comprehension in the hereafter. So I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all gives me the tawfiq to act upon everything I've said. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants the true understanding and the true knowledge of the deen to those who seek out knowledge. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us all the tawfiq to go out of our daily routine, just spare five minutes and seek the knowledge of um, the deen. Ameen. وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاغِ السَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَبَرَكَاتُهُ